Hello, beta testers. <laughs> Guess who's mad that a Japanese game isn't diverse enough for them? Another activist masquerading as a games journalist. Maybe you remember the video covering a white woman mad that the Japanese game wasn't diverse enough for them. Well, you won't be surprised to learn that they're from the same publication, Eurogamer. And as many comments have noted, Eurogamer seems to be entirely staffed by white people, which I have no issue with, but why are you demanding diversity in a Japanese game when you can't manage it yourself? As what these types would consider diverse myself, I can claim to have been a fan as far back as when Squaresoft was on the box in the 90s, I never needed to see my skin color represented to appreciate a story, characters, or gameplay. Final Fantasy is older than the pronouns of the activists trying to desperately control and change something that they are entirely new to. The changes they crave would come at the expense of the core fans, like me, and Square Enix should be mindful not to alienate people by making their game similar to Western garbage because there is a severe and honest hatred for the lazy, woke, forced inclusion and feminine downgrades that this ESG that some people are appealing to represent. Consumers, however, hate this and are becoming hyper aware of the games that are clearly being made by pronoun warriors whom we would accept if they tolerated us the way that they demand to be tolerated. Making everyone black and making women ugly is not equality and in fact is a blessing for us because it helps us know exactly who to avoid. The breasts are the beacon. No TNA means no fun. And Japanese should look no further than the reception to Kami in Street Fighter, whom I love, whom we love, but you know who's mad? These types, the pronoun warriors. They're so desperately angry that they'll whine about an alternate outfit. They have to opt into this. They have to put this on, but they mad, desperate to be oppressed. The world is bullying them because apparently pretty and talented people exist and they don't get to be that. So they gotta drag that bar down. On June 21st, Eurogamer's Edwin posted their article rating Final Fantasy a 60 out of 100 because of their racist demand for more representation of their preferred races. Their tweet has been viewed 12,000 times. And were I to be generous and slay 6,000 off that, you know, maybe they just scrolled by. Still, of the people who viewed this, only 14 people liked the tweet. 94 people felt like commenting though, including popular streamer Asmund Gold, who responded to his audience posting a real summary of this kind of moron. So, I'd like to go over the reactions to the main Eurogamer tweet, as well as the tweet made by Edwin for his little article. <laughs> Did you guys actually give it a 60 because of a lack of certain elements that have nothing to do with the storytelling, game mechanics, gameplay loop, or quality of life features? Elements that even most of the people you feel should be upset over the lack of aren't actually upset about? Going by the blurb in your link, the only issue seems to be a few tedious side quests. Those are optional, you know? You don't have to do all of the side quests. Why are you docking the game almost half of the possible score over optional content? Or is it just an excuse? Kyle here, of course it's an excuse for these types to drag anything down. You're so new that you don't understand that the phrase side quest differentiates itself from the main quest, the necessary quest for your venture through this game. I am going to assume that you're ignorant in the interest of your education because you've made it this far in a field that you know nothing about. And now you're flailing your arms mad because it should be more like what you wanted. Everybody else's score went like this. Your score went like this. 
when we ask why, it's because there's not enough diverse people in it. And I didn't like how tedious the side quests were. Oh, say word. Hire a black person, please. There's nobody qualified. There's nobody skilled enough. It can't be that, right? And I have to block you guys for this. Don't want to live in an echo chamber here on Twitter, but there's just no way in hell this game deserves a failing grade. Just no way. Common Eurogamer L. How many points did you deduct for the diversity issues that you and the game have in common? Look at me. I'm different. Everyone giving glowing reviews except me? Give me clicks, please. Someone just posting the article and throwing L's. This person quotes the article saying, Leaving aside the fact that there were black and brown people in medieval Europe, there are black and brown people in the gaming industry today. Why does Eurogamer refuse to hire even one? Does Tom use their resumes as a dartboard or does he just feed them right into the shredder? Guessing Tom's the plantation owner, the guy with the whip here, so to speak, and charge all of these losers. A lot of good it did stopping an article like this from flying, but I'm sure he'd agree with it, considering their publication has tried their best to fan the flames of hatred surrounding a non-existent, admittedly non-existent boycott of Final Fantasy, with the last article writer Vicky Blake being forced to include this excerpt. At the time of writing, over 1,200 players have responded to the poll, but just 2.9%, that's around 40 people, are intending to intentionally boycott the release, with 72% still committed to buying it, despite the issues. <laughs> what issues? Couldn't be diversity, because clearly it's not that big an issue for your staff, Eurogamer. Another comment reads, when are you guys going to talk about the lack of diversity within your staff? You know, like how you're coming at Square for? Another comment writes, you really dropped the score because your wife's boyfriend wasn't in the game? Hypocrisy aside for a moment, they dropped the score of this game overall, which genuinely has an impact on how some of the people who worked on this objectively high quality game are going to be eating. Because a guy that looks like this needs to talk about how the Japanese game isn't diverse enough, but your staff looking like this. So, if I may say it in a way completely unrelated to any of you, that hopefully you might understand for some reason. People who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. Nobody gives a shit what this dude thinks. White people love to do. They love to fucking badger other races and other ethnicities on being more culturally aware and culturally uh, diverse. Honestly, how dare the Japanese endeavor to pursue their own vision, uncompromised by asinine, uneducated, and tiny perspectives, shared, of course, by the types working at Eurogamer. The things that I admire and appreciate about Japanese culture and media are rooted in the differences that their perspectives bring to the table. So, in my opinion, allowing a group of losers who themselves lack diversity to be in charge of deciding what is and isn't diverse or allowed in games is backwards. And I find your assertions offensive. Here is Alex from Digital Foundry commenting on Forspoken before it came out. So offensive offended by Project Eve's protagonist. Because like they put the camera angles chosen, it just felt like this game seems like a, a game that came out in like 002 in terms of its, you know, like character design. Okay, pretty women are dated according to this it's guy. Like a bit old and, and not flattering, I don't think, for a modern audience. Wow, for a modern audience. In comparison to something like Forspoken, which has, you know, uh, I mean, yes, it has a much more realistic looking character designs. Uh, it's not these hyper proportioned uh, something or another's but white boy saw a nice ass and said hyper proportioned something or another's but they don't realize that in telling other cultures what to do they're pushing their own culture on those cultures these types are trying desperately to exert control what they hate is that we have a choice and we're never not gonna have a choice 
no matter how hard they try.